guys, I wanted to film a what is in my hospital bag video for you because I asked if this was something you guys might want to see and a lot of you said yes and I wanted to get this video filmed before he actually comes because then this is kind of going to be a mute point. But I actually referred back to the video I posted after that when I had Addison was the stuff in my hospital bag that I actually used. I referenced back to that video, so I'll link it below. It's four years old, but it was really helpful and it jogged my memory as far as the things that I didn't need to have that I did pack and the things that I wish that I had. I'm excited to share with you what is in here. I'm delivering at the same hospital, so I know what to expect as far as what they provide for you. Every hospital is different. I provided a lot more than I was expecting, like, uh, the diapers, the wipes, the underwear, a lot of onesies, swaddles, and things like that. Even like the nipple ointment cream, I remember they have like their own little concoction, which I ended up using more than the, the one that I had packed in my hospital bag. So, slight changes, I'm excited to show you. This time around, I packed a, a little bit of a smaller bag than last time. This is my Stellan.Weekender bag, and I don't even have it expanded. I actually might expand it though, because I also have my makeup toiletry bag here that... I can't really fit because this is to the max. But this is the bag that I'm taking. If I unzip this, I probably should unzip it and expand it so I can actually fit everything that I want to fit in here. Oh, this is actually how big the bag is and what it looks like. And it just came back into stock. It was sold out forever. So let's dive in to see what I got in here. First thing that I have right on top is this little Blah Blah doll. This is actually what Addison picked out for her little brother to give him as a gift. I got a gift from him to give to her, and she picked this out because she has the girl version, the little fox. Love these Blah Blah dolls because they're super soft and just like little knit sweaters that are stuffed, so she's going to give this to him when he's born. So that is in here. I also purchased this little cute little uh, bear beanie from Little Fox Shop on Etsy. It's definitely like a wintry beanie, but just thought it was adorable and really cute for pictures. And honestly, when they're that little, you just want to keep their heads covered and warm. So I probably will end up using this. And when I got it, I thought maybe this is going to be a little bit too thick, but keep this little head warm. One thing I don't have in the bag just on the outside is my boppy pillow. I have it stripped down and I have the cover in here. But this I took with me the last time and I loved it just to help me nurse and hold him and it was really helpful so I am bringing that again. I am bringing two cardigans. These were something something that I really enjoyed having in the hospital. This I actually just purchased from Nordstrom. One of my Snapchat friends sent me a link to this in the blush pink and I actually needed a black cardigan so I purchased this one which I know I'm going to get a ton of use out of. It's a really cute like bow belt sleeve, really long cardigan. It comes in a bunch of different colors from Nordstrom, but I got it in the black. It had a really good price point. Um, I needed a new black cardigan. So anyway, I really enjoyed having cardigans in the hospital because we always had visitors and I was either in my nursing bra or in like a nursing tank and it was just nice to have the cardigan to cover up and also keep me warm because I'm always cold. It's just an old cardigan that I got from the DKNY outlet a gray cardigan. You guys know me, I don't do a lot of color. And then I just have a couple swaddles, a white, this is an Aiden and an I, it's just solid white. And this is one from Modern Burlap. Um, I'm just bringing my own swaddles just to either swaddle him or cover him in the car seat when we come home. This is just a little nightgown, nighty, another really soft, cozy, comfortable knit that I could sleep in, nurse in, hang out in the hospital in by the Baby Be Mine brand that sells like the pillowcases and the delivery gowns and stuff and I just got it in black and white. So packed two maxi dresses. I did the same thing last time and again because we had visitors in constantly. These were really comfortable. I also remember the not so fun side of postpartum was when they would come in to check you and like push on your stomach after you deliver. Bottom line, you need to have easy access for the doctors to check you and the nurses to help you out. So having the maxi dresses and the nightgowns are really nice and convenient. I 
Picked up a robe. This one is from Shop Pink Blush Maternity. I just love the colors. It's black and blue. Again, just to cover up if we have guests or to keep me warm. It was something that I packed last time and I pretty much had my robe or a cardigan on the whole time. Packed one nursing bra. These are my favorite by the brand Cake. These are a little bit on the pricey side, but like I said, these are my favorite, and I've tried a bunch of different nursing bras the first time around. You can find these at Nordstrom. Just really comfortable. They're stretchy. They're soft. Also packed a sleep nursing bra, which is just, again, just a really soft cotton material for nursing. These are really good to have and just really comfortable. I don't like wires, and it's not even really good to have wires when you're nursing. And then I have one nursing tank top, a white one, and my favorite pair of leggings. These are by the Blanky, Blank line. And I wore these a lot when I was pregnant. It has support for your belly. And these are gonna be really nice postpartum. I know just really comfortable, keep you in, but they're not compression where they're gonna be really tight. They're very stretchy. And I, these are like my favorite maternity leggings. A Milk Snob cover. You may have seen this brand on Shark Tank or Instagram, but basically it is a versatile cover for the car seat, for nursing, the stroller. It's just a big piece of soft elastic that stretches over you when you're nursing or the car seat. And I did not have one of these for Addie. I ended up having to go buy one car, uh, car seat cover to like block the wind and stuff, I remember. So I'm excited to have this and I like that it doubles up as a nursing cover. Also have my boppy pillow cover and this is another something that I purchased off Etsy. It's got that like white mink on, soft mink on the one side and then it's just this gray geometric pattern. I don't have it on the boppy cover because I just don't want it to get dirty, so I'm keeping it in the bag until I need it. And the rest of the stuff is for him, I think. I have a blanket, other random things. Oh, I did bring a pair of these like fuzzy socks because I remember my feet being always cold. My belly bandit I'm bringing again. I put this baby on like four hours after I delivered Addie and I kept it on for pretty much six weeks every day. I didn't sleep with it on, but I really think that this helped to trim my stomach, not trim my stomach, but said to help your uterus contract a little bit. It's good support when you're nursing, and I just liked it too because after you deliver, you just have like a lot of loose skin, and this just kind of keeps you feeling tight and not so jiggly. <laughs> so I brought that, and then I'm bringing another little laundry bag. This was nice to just throw dirty clothes, anything I'm bringing from the hospital with me, like his swaddle or his onesie or hat or anything like that. So this is just another little bag that I'm keeping at the bottom. And then for him, I'm not bringing too much stuff. I just have a little white onesie, which I'm taking in a newborn size. I don't even know if he's going to fit into this. Remember in the hospital, they never really had onesies. They just had like the t-shirts that snapped, uh, long sleeve shirts that snapped with the little mittens on it. So I'm bringing this just in case, but like I said, I have a feeling it's not even gonna fit him. <laughs> I feel like he's gonna be huge. And then I'm bringing two little pairs of pants. These were from Von Von. I showed you these in a pregnancy haul. Just little knit pants, two little knit hats that kind of match a black and white stripe and a blue and white stripe. They're really special to me. They're little duck pants, like they're little yellow pants with ducks on the feet. And I had these in the hospital with Addison. Obviously we didn't know Addison was a girl, so I just took like neutral stuff, but I have a picture of her in the hospital wearing these and a onesie. So I wanted to like kind of do the same thing with him. But again, I don't even know if these are gonna fit him. And then, this was just another little set. I forget where I got this, but I had this for Addison. It's a little oatmeal colored knit hat and just a little like piece of blanket. I don't know. I just, I had this for her in the hospital. So I brought it again for him just for like pictures or for him to lay on or something like that. That is all of the clothing and swaddles and stuff. And then I'm bringing a toiletry bag. This one is an old one from Benefit that they sent me. In here, I just, I'm bringing two little white washcloths to clean my face, take makeup off, shower with, whatever. This is my little toiletry case. When you deliver and you just feel gross and you have visitors coming and you just want to feel put together, to me, that's why I'm bringing 
some makeup. Like even recently, I have just felt so tired and just miserable and uncomfortable and I just find that when I put makeup on my face it just instantly is a mood booster so that's why I bring makeup a lot of people might think I am crazy but it's the little things and if this is something little that I can do to make myself feel a little bit more put together that's where it comes into play so in here I have both skincare and some makeup I found these little my favorite um, cotton by Shiseido. They come in little travel packs now at Sephora, so I picked up one of these. A bottle of Bioderma to take off some makeup. I'm bringing some makeup wipes. These are by Skin Fix and the Acura to just refresh my face or take makeup off. A little travel goat milk cleanser. A little travel of the facial radiance pads. These are just, I can't be without these like ever. And then I have two moisturizers, one from Dermalogical, this Dermalogica, this skin smoothing cream, and one from Kors, the Wild Rose Vitamin Sleep Facial. I'm bringing a bottle of my grape water from Caudalie to just refresh my face if I'm sweating during labor or to just give me a boost of hydration. Two little bottles of Cetaphil in here. You could use this as a face cleanser, but really I bought it to more so be a body cleanser because it's gentle a little baby sugar lip treatment my lips i remember being really dry during labor and delivery and travel shampoo and conditioner i don't know if i'm going to get to wash my hair or if i will feel like washing my hair so i'm also bringing a bottle of a little travel bottle of my favorite dry shampoo the elizabeth and james so that's kind of my skincare you have time in the hospital like a lot of downtime because the baby sleeps a lot in the first like 48 to 72 hours and on the makeup side I'm really not bringing too much I'm bringing this little travel compact from Estee Lauder this has the Estee Lauder double wear the liquid in it this is really great you just push the button and it disperses it I love this because I love this foundation and it's a way to travel with it without bringing a glass bottle so I'm bringing that blush from NAR hourglass finishing powder I'm bringing two concealers because I'm probably going to need some of that. Q-tips, a beauty blender, pretty much it. Not a lot of makeup, just enough to, like I said, make me feel a little bit put together. I do have my eyelash extensions on, so I really haven't and feel no need to be doing any kind of eye makeup while I'm in the hospital. I just keep my skin looking not like a hot mess. So that's everything that I'm taking with me to the hospital. So hopefully I will go into labor after this video. <laughs> Don't know when it's gonna happen. Hopefully soon, I'm overdue at this point and it's just kind of an anxious waiting game. So hopefully I will be back soon with a labor and delivery story. I have been and I'm gonna continue to pre-film videos to have when I'm in the hospital and then home and it's a little bit chaotic. So I don't know when I will see you in real time again, but I will be seeing you in my videos very soon. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye.